I'm Dr. John Gilligan from the School of Computer Science. I'm a lecturer in computer science. Um, we work on a co-design project with people from the St. John of God's organisation um, who provide services for people with intellectual disability. The St. John of God's um, offer different services. So the Liffey services, they have adult men and women and they engage in training programs and they engage in work experiences and they um, educational opportunities as well. So they provide services for those. But broader than that, um, they have the same needs of technology that everyone else has and the kind of apps that we have looked at for them. We have uh, uh, friend finders, we've looked at um, accessible microwaves, we've looked at um, review systems for local community uh, amenities and so on. So there, there's lots of different things. One of the more interesting ones that everyone probably could benefit from is an accessible login. We have millions of logins and we can't uh, remember any of them. And you know, they have the same need, but they've come up with an innovative way of using pictures. So maybe we can look at expanding that out for everybody as well. How we got involved in community engagement in terms of the latest manifestation, which is the co-design projects, we got involved because our students, um, our students didn't have, uh, even though most of the computer science development methodologies uh, insist on user involvement, they didn't really have um, an outlet for user involvement and it's a key part of it and we found more and more that um, our students weren't um, engaging with that concept of how a user might use their products. So we wanted to increase the level of user involvement and an opportunity arose through another part of the research which I do which is assistive technology and um, we met people from the St. John of God's organisation and they had a need as well. They needed apps that were suitable for their uh, people with um, intellectual disability because many of the apps were designed without them in mind. And yet they have the same needs and requirements as everyone else. They like listening to music, they like uh, checking things out on the web, they like communicating with each other. And this is all very difficult when it's designed without kind of considering the needs of the users. So there was a symbiosis there in that respect. And um, they wanted apps developed, we wanted user involvement, and we have this thir uh, third year team project, which is part of the mainstream curriculum. We got involved with the, um, w we planned it ahead, and we asked for a lot of advice before we started on this. And we got, a huge resource for us was the student learning community. Particularly, we got advice on how to um, agree beforehand the nature of these projects. Um, for example, we developed a code of conduct. Um, we were advised to try and manage expectations. These were students. Um, they weren't professional developers. So there might be a, an expectation that in the time frame they could develop fully fledged finished products. Um, we had to, how to engage with the users, particularly the men and women from the St. John of Gods. We had to look at other things that we probably never thought of, like intellectual property management, of the, who creates the apps and so on, and who owns them, and can they be developed further, and so on. So there's many different elements to it. Indemnity, if something happens while it's on. So we got a lot of advice from a lot of people, hothouse, but particularly the student learning with communities. So th that was the initial motivation behind it. Where it went from there was, um, we started um, and it was very much a journey of discovery. What we discovered was there was a lot of preparatory work that had to be done in terms of the uh, users, the clients uh, from the St. John of Gods, they had, to, um, they had to learn a bit about participatory design. So they had to learn how to contribute to workshops, how to get their ideas across, and it became um, you know, a learning experience for them as much as for our students. And our students also um, and had to do a lot of learning beforehand. So, it's, so it was very much a kind of a circular uh, learning experience in that everyone had to learn something. And our staff had to learn how to deal with this new situation where we had teams, but we also had external people working. And we also had, 
key workers from the St. John of Gods who came in and helped, and they had to learn how to engage with students and so on. And so there was very much um, a participatory nature to it, but very much uh, there was a preparatory work. We had to teach our students about accessibility and so on. So there was a lot of extra stuff that had to be done beforehand, not, not in terms of time-wise, but a lot of thought had to go in how to manage the time to get these kind of key lessons across. Um, so we went from the we went from um, learning w w students just learning about user engagement to a much bigger holistic learning experience, and I think that was one of the most interesting parts of the whole process. That everyone benefited. Our students were learning about user involvement, which is what they're supposed to learn, but they never really had an opportunity. And one of the interesting comments by the students that always stuck with me afterwards was that all their time in college up until that point, they had been um, told what to do. So we tell them, do this, do that. But here, they had to find out what they had to do. And it became a journey of discovery with the uh, users. There was the communication skills that they had to learn. They had to deal with people. Instead of just dealing with technology, they had to deal with people. So there was that learning process involved. It also changed the perspective of the lecturers that were involved in it, the, the college supervisors, because again, this was something that it's very obvious, but to see it actually in practice was a real learning experience for all concerned. And that, that made a big difference. Uh, to us as well. Um, in terms of the engagement with the uh, people from St. John of Gods, in general it's been a hugely positive experience. Um, in terms of our staff um, and in terms of other parts of what we do, the lessons that we've learned from this particular community engagement have translated into um, frameworks for other parts of it. For example, it has informed our industrial engagement. So we have this transfer of knowledge into other disciplines and other domains that's extremely important. So all in all, it's been a hugely positive experience and I think it's changed the way that we look at um, learning outcomes and how to achieve learning outcomes. But not only that, um, someone described the whole process of students learning with communities as leveraging student outputs for community benefit. But I think that's a very one-way definition of it. And I think it's a two-way process. I think the communities learn from what we have to offer, and I think the uh, students learn from what the communities have to offer. And I think together it becomes a much uh, broader, much more powerful experience for all concerned.